Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is once again written and directed by James Gunn. Still reeling from the loss of Gamora, Peter Quill rallies his team to defend the universe and one of their own, a mission that could mean the end of the Guardians if not successful. I loved the first film. I had no expectations going in, I think, like a lot of people. While there are certainly fans of Guardians of the Galaxy comics, it was nothing like other heroes that had been prevalent in most superhero films, and Marvel was beginning to experiment, and we were getting things like Ant-Man and other more obscure comic book characters, and that film was just so wonderful. I enjoyed the second one, while not as much as the first, so I was very much looking forward to seeing what James Gunn could do, because these are characters that are beloved around the world, but especially for him, he's had a major role in popularizing them even more and obviously these films are very personal to him. Guardians 3 starts off on a slightly more somber note as we follow Rocket walking around nowhere and we're reintroduced to all of our heroes and some of the side characters and you immediately get the sense that this film is going to try to stir your emotions a lot more than the first two and that we have sacrifices being made and characters that need help and need supported by their team but are in dire situations, and from the trailers that have been released, it's very clear that this will involve flashbacks to Rocket's youth and some of the horrific things that happened to him there, which will be very difficult to watch if you are an animal lover like myself. Some of these things are going to be really disturbing, and surprisingly so, actually. James Gunn's horror roots definitely show in a few scenes that are very splattery. One such scene is an excellent Marvel all-timer of an action scene in a corridor where the entire team are fighting this massive lineup of aliens and creatures. It was beautiful to look at. It was an amazing combination of practical effects, stunt work, and CGI. Where the film shines the most, I think, though, is in its characters and its humor. Despite the fact that the film definitely goes in darker places, it is still a very funny movie and I laughed consistently. The characters are very well realized and it allows them to go to emotional places they haven't gone to before and Gunn does an excellent job of exploring a new team dynamic that's happening because obviously the Gamora that's in this movie is not the Gamora that Peter Quill is used to being around and so things are different now. But you also get the sense that the Guardians are maybe a little tired and not wanting to do this forever. And there are aspects of that that I think work very well and some that don't. For instance, the film opens with Star-Lord very drunk, and his teammates are like, really, again? And I thought they were going to explore that a bit, but they don't. It's kind of thrown away. Which brings me to a few things in the film I wish were different. Because I don't think this is a great movie. I don't think that it's going to revitalize Marvel right now. I think they really need a hit. Their last great movie, in my mind, was Spider-Man No Way Home. Everything since then has been either fine or maybe not so much. And when it comes to this film, I definitely enjoyed it. I had a very good time watching it. I laughed a lot and the action scenes are very entertaining. There's an overabundance of characters in the movie, on the villain side and on the good side. And you can tell there's a difficulty in balancing all of it. There's a new character, Adam Warlock, played by Will Poulter, who appears in the movie to cause some chaos and then leaves and reappears to cause more chaos and then leaves. And his purpose in the movie feels a bit haphazard and underdeveloped. The main villain this time around is the High Evolutionary, an individual who has a lot of goals for the universe, thinks that things aren't quite perfect and he wishes they could be, and he also is thinking about his place in the universe and what all of that means, and in some ways he's a more vicious Thanos, because Thanos as well is looking at the universe and thinking like, can I make this perfect in some way, or at least right some wrongs and he's looking at it in a very genocidal way, and so is the High Evolutionary. But I found Thanos to be endlessly more interesting. The High Evolutionary is a very cruel person who does unspeakable things to creatures that are far weaker than he is. And that's about it when it comes to his character. I didn't really feel all that much under the surface. Drax is amazing in the movie. Groot's great. I really liked Nebula this time around. And Chris Pratt is fantastic as Star-Lord. Zoe Zaldana is great as a newer, different kind of Gamora that is not very experienced with this crew and always running to catch up, which is fun. And Bradley Cooper as Rocket is wonderful. And once again, the visual effects artists bringing this character to life deserve a major round of applause. Everything exploring that character's past 
really was the heart and soul of the film. Those flashbacks are used quite often and sometimes you're around Rocket when you enter into one of these flashbacks and you sort of get the idea that Rocket is thinking about the, this moment and that's why we're seeing it. But other times the flashbacks start when Rocket isn't even in the scene and then it just becomes like a narrative device and I felt like the film was breaking its own rules a little bit there. But as I already stated, where this film shines and where it's worth the price of admission is in its characters, its humor, and its action. James Gunn loves these characters and puts so, so much love into them, and it's so evident in every frame of the movie, and it's a very entertaining film. It's just a little messy in the get going, but it takes a minute to get to a place where the movie really feels like it's chugging along at its own pace and it feels like it knows what it wants to be. I'd love to know what you guys think of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.